Hello everyone, welcome to the first lecture of this series on Tecla structure for concrete. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can open a Tecla structure model. Okay, for the very first time. So uh, when you'll be clicking on that, uh, because of the Tecla structure software to open the first pop up window that will be coming is this window where you need to set these three things one is environment role and configuration basically these three are almost the similar things okay it is to set up the template of your uh, software program so here first of all you will find environment so if you see here uh, i have two uh, environments installed basically you can install different environments uh, for different countries so i have the environment for india and uk so basically what will it will do it will configure the software program as per the uh, you can say requirement of indian projects okay so some default requirements like you can say the units uh, uh, you can say the length units or you can say the different sizes are or you can say uh, i mean different templates are being set up uh, you can say already uh, being given by the tecla structure so if you install it or if it is already installed in your computer and if you select this then uh, as per the indian project requirement you can set the environment i mean you will get the environment if you click on uk so as per the uk requirement it will be there if you suppose uh, select uh, if you install some chinese environment okay so the all the things will be there as per the uh, uh, as per the requirement of uh, chinese uh, you can say structures okay I, or you can say uh, uh, that country template will be available for you so this is about environment similar thing here you will find role role is basically to define what kind of structure you are going to do or uh, on what purpose you will be using this tecla structure so if you click on here you will see different roles like bridge designer contractor engineering precast detailer uh, okay river detailer steel detailer so this is basically to you can say configure the software program such a way that suppose i have selected this design so to configure the software program such a way that whatever tools or options required to model a bridge okay those things will be more you can say uh, available in your uh, you can say uh, toolbars and all right so so for now we will select all so that anything we need we can we want to do we can do it so all the tools will be available uh you can say for us uh, readily then we have another again configuration so similarly it is the same thing what is the work that you are going to do whether it is for the purpose of drafting educational purpose engineering so uh, if you if you click on full then in that case what will happen all these things uh, will be available okay so the configuration will be such a way that you can do any any of the works that is listed here okay so here uh, for now we will select indian environment role as all and configuration as full okay so i'll just click on okay then the software shall open we will wait for this okay so now to create a new model you can see there are different options recent models all models if you have shared anything any model online or a new model so as we are starting from the very scratch so what we will do we'll click on new now here you need to give the name of the model so suppose practice i'm giving it as a name suppose practice model 2 because i had practice model 1 earlier I am naming it as practice model 2. You can select where you want to save this model. You can see there are some other templates also which, you, which is visible here. But as of now, I am not going to open this. I am going to create a new model. So I will just click on new. I will name it. Uh, I will choose the, you can say folder where I want to as a save. And now you can click on create here. So you just have to wait for some time. And the software interface will open for you. Let us just wait for a few seconds. Okay. 
you can see as we have selected all the things so it will take some time right it is configuring all the commands that is available yeah so now you can see uh we have the interface ready for us still still loading yeah okay so now we have the full interface with us so if you see here uh, i will just give you a small tour of the interface of a tecla structure before starting uh, basically so at the very first thing that we'll be seeing here okay these these top portion okay so this top portion is very i mean most of you are familiar to this because it is very similar to any other software program that you will be finding right so here in this particular corner so this is basically my file menu okay this is basically my file menu so if i if i just click on this three dash you can see new open save save as all these options are there so these are basically the options that we find in the file menu so this is my file menu okay uh here at this particular corner if you if you just see these okay if you see these so this is my quick access toolbar so if you have used uh, autocad or something like that any software like that you will find that uh, you have this quick access toolbar so some tools you can uh, you can say attach here to use quickly so this is actually quick access toolbar okay quick access toolbar then then if i see here in this particular location let me just give this okay so in this particular location you can see there are two menus so basically this overall portion is called ribbon a ribbon menu so this ribbon menu consists of a main menu and a sub menu uh, so if you see here there are many options inside this ribbon menu so in main menu if you go to steel so the, you will be finding steel column beam plate and anything regarding the steel if you click on concrete so all the concrete uh, elements will be available if you click on rebar for rebar modeling editing all the options will be available so there are a lot of things available uh, for modeling and editing so you can see this is my ribbon menu okay in this right hand side we have let me just remove this okay so we have this uh, side pan okay so this is this is basically my uh I just keep it here so this is my side pan or you can also call it side panel so you can see this side panel and un under this whatever options are available this will be visible here okay in this blank space so suppose if i select this settings you can see there are different options if i want to see the settings of a steel column okay so it will just load it and you can see it will be you can change those settings from here okay this if i click on this reference model so if there is any reference model like whatever model we have opened so uh, the you can say elements uh, will be showing here okay so this way this this side pan will give you some information regarding your model or uh, you can change the you can say different information present in your model okay so this is your side pan then we have here so i'm just giving you uh, a brief of this of the you say the tecla structure user interface so here if you see here if you see these are my these are my if you just take your cursor here you can see uh, you will be finding option to select different entities okay so this is nothing but your selection switches okay so this is your selection switches right and here if you see here here you have uh, you can say the snap option so if you see here snap to you can say grid intersections snap to end points so whatever you want to snap or you do not want to snap so you can turn it off or turn it on from here so this is your snap switches okay so you can 
write it here snapping switches or snap switches correct then here one thing when automatically uh, one default grid will be i can say uh, available for you once you open a new model so this is my default grid and at the corner of the default grid you will find this coordinate system or coordinate uh, so this is basically my global coordinate symbol okay coordinate symbol okay so this is for overall structure and the elements structural elements that will be modeling that element will be following this uh, you can say coordinate system so this is my local coordinate symbol so this is member specific element specific this is for the overall structure right and this whole area is my model modeling area right this is my modeling area you can see different software has different name of for this okay so this is my modeling area where actually i'll be making my model so i hope you got a brief introduction about the in, uh, user interface of tecla structure so basically we'll be dealing with the concrete structure in our upcoming lectures so a uh, few more things let me tell you here there is a quick uh, search bar actually quick launch you can say it is written so it is also there in other programs like autocad or something like that because uh, what it will uh, do if you search any tool here any anything you want to suppose you do not know about it and you want it so if you search it here it will actually give you access to this particular tool it will take you to that tool okay so this is your uh, uh, quick launch it will help you like this and at the very top what it will be written is the name of the software program the location where you have saved the model and the model name right and the view that you are seeing so this is the 3d view so the view will be visible so i hope i hope you got a idea where um, i mean uh, with which we can begin modeling in tecla structure uh, one more thing that is available here is this model uh, so this is basically my work plane view okay this is basically my work plane so it will be telling you at what work plane you are you are currently now okay so this is it for this lecture we will uh, try to see few more fundamentals about the software program in our upcoming lectures and uh, along with that we'll be starting our modeling also okay thank you and see you in the next lecture